Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Hunter Darkwolf, who wanted the Dolmel in uh, their usual uh, black and white colors, which I typically add a little bit of green to, just because that was part of the Mars size colors when I uh, first did it, and it just looked good that way. So, yeah, uh, Dolmel is a 450 raid with a bunch of different melee weapons, including... Uh, various just nudges with the uh, superheated spikes on its shoulders, which I think I actually get some decent uh, attacks in with this round. I forget exactly. It's been a while. But, uh, yeah, it has uh, also has a really neat slide for its single saber downswing. And, uh, yeah, an instant stunning beam. And, yeah, if you can just kind of dig into somebody with those spikes... You can do major damage like I just did there. 4,200, I think the most I've seen on a single tackle is about 6,000. But if you did it just right to the right target, it can, could conceivably go higher. And yeah, that is the the uh, that is the uh, slide attack because it does in fact have beam toes. And yeah, this uh, was original. It shows up in the Mobile Suit Gun Katana manga, but it also, but it originally is from, uh, I believe it's Mobile Suit Gundam EX Review in the uh, uh, '90s, a, uh, a Street Fighter II style game by Ban Presto, uh, arcade only, Japan only. So yeah, but I'm pretty sure there is footage out there if you want to see it. Fairly good animation, as I recall. But yeah, Dolmel is not bad. And, yeah, I was hoping I could catch that as it fell, but, yeah, the, the spacing was all off. Uh, and then the Isaac's uh, dome just comes up out of the water and startled me a little bit, which I'm not going to live through, I don't think, or if so, not long. Um, but, okay. Got the nudge in on the uh, on the Aos. Uh, it's vert it's uh, neutral with the s single saber as a nice vertical slash, so I'm pretty sure I was able to uh, hit that Ganeos without, uh, without <sighs> words. Without words, yes, but also without hitting any of my allies. Um, and I did not notice when I, uh, uh, when I uh, played this that number two disconnected at this point, so... As I recall, it wound up being fairly close anyway, so you're probably going to see a pretty good and well-coordinated enemy team through here. Uh, we are pushing to their base at the moment, and let's see, that is a Gundam Alex with Chobham armor, which I think that's, if that isn't on the uh, PC version yet, it should be soon, I think. So, might be this week's, might be uh, next. I don't, the brain is gone, but... Uh, well, was the brain ever truly here? That is the question. But, okay, got the kill on that Alex. The pilot did not escape. Uh, this is the enemy base. I've had a lot of trouble like, keeping those straight lately, even with the, like, you know, red and blue Atari logos o over each of them. So, yeah, just... I, I kind of get turned around sometimes when I'm playing this. But, okay, and there was... Not sure what that is. Um, oh, I think it's Marasai, actually. Yes, it is. And hard to tell with the camo. Boy, that camo looks really good underwater, actually. I, uh, I don't know if it's specifically for water or for Jabro. I don't know. I don't remember if there's a, a Jabro pattern out yet, but yeah. Either way, it looked good underwater. Worked well, I think. But, uh, oops, got hit by an ally. That's fine. I have hit my own allies uh, plenty already, so... Yeah, that's the that's of course the thing about raids with big sweeping moves where uh, especially like shoulder charge things where the whole body becomes a hitbox is that in close quarters, which is all there is of Jabro, the uh, you're going to hit allies. So it's uh, uh it's or rather it's much more likely. It's you know, it's still on you to try not to do that, but it's much harder here. So um yeah, it has some decent weapons. I don't believe any of its weapons can be used while boosting, which is a uh, uh, feature that I've always, you know, I I'm a big fan of that. Uh, it does have the Rick Diaz's uh, double tackle skill, but, uh, well, the Rick Diaz's, a lot of things have that at this point. Like, in terms of just sheer effectiveness, I'd kind of give ownership to it to the Gym 3 Powered family at this point, but you get the idea. Um, okay, that's another kill on the Aos, and I'm going to go up there and probably get killed, but, uh, 
Oh, that's, yeah, that's the uh, Isaac again. And yeah, unfortunately, I don't think... I should have just switched to the beam gun first so I could get in there, but I did not do that thing. Uh, but yeah, we're actually staying fairly well coordinated here, so that's not bad. And I got uh, grabbed out of my heat nudge and tackled to death. That Isaac has done really well at stopping me so far. But yeah, um... The way the uh, light was glinting off of the propellant tanks, I for a second I thought that was a thunderbolt goof, which also comes in at this approximate cost, but no. Um, I, I'm pretty sure this is 450, because I'm pretty sure that's where the Chob Marmor Alex and uh, the uh, Dolmel live, but I, I've seen, I'm pretty sure I've killed a couple of things that are 400s. I think that G Gan Aos for one, and... Uh, if that's a level 1 Marasai as opposed to the level 2, that would also be 400. We'll see. But that is... Uh, as you can see, yeah, with only two minutes left, they're keeping pretty even, considering. They, they just wiped our team, so that, uh, that never hurts anything. But... And I've been back to Tears of the Kingdom lately, which I can tell because I was just sitting here going, man, if I could just ascend through that bridge, that would be perfect. But, nope. Okay, three hits. Did not get the shoulder uh, follow-up. Thought I still had more sabers, so... Isaac uh, hit me with enough machine gun to stun me. Also delayed me to the point where I could not finish off the uh, Gan Aos. So, you know, mission accomplished there. But basically, I just need to breathe on it. I breathed. That was a 450. Maybe it's the Isaac that's 400? I swear I saw something in here that is only 400. Either way, the Isaac is dead meat because I did land the heavy stagger... Uh, uh, shoulder nudge, so. Yeah, that is just such a bizarrely ineffectual looking move when you, uh, unless you're using the downswing, which is a, you know, standard shoulder charge like a lot of Xeon suits have. But, yeah, it's just really, really kind of weird. Um, we have a lead, we're kind of hanging out up front when I'm, yeah, I'm just saying tighten our defenses, because we could, uh, we could really benefit from not just letting them spawn in fresh and kill all of us, even though we're relatively health healthy. But pretty much with this uh, point disparity, a full team wipe is what they'd need to win. So not giving them that would be, you know, ideal just for our purposes. Because I think this may have been a raided round, in which case, yeah, you don't, uh, yeah, don't really want to give up a uh, uh, give up a win even out of sympathy. Uh, but that said, I got, you know, I stuck my uh, nose in uh, the enemy formation's business and got it mostly cut off, so that happens. But, okay, what, yep, Marasai was on me pretty hard, but we managed to pull it off, so. Yeah, we definitely had an edge because that person disconnected, but uh, I think decent fighting anyway, and actually, like I said, actually landed some of the shoulder stuff this time, so... I'm going to go with it. 2965 out of 9620. Um, yeah, they lost their uh, middle, uh, their uh, number two. Five and two, 70,000 damage. I'll take it. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I have a feeling there's probably never been any kind of merchandise of the Dolmel. There might be a garage kit from years ago, but those things are expensive.